Hello there. Sorry, slightly later than I was expecting because I forgot to re-enable the DHCP bullshit on the PlayStation. I was like, why is this capture not working? Everything looks connected correctly. And it's the first thing I should have checked, really, but, you know. But, gotta be useless and all that. Can't not be useless. That's against the rules. How are you, Deeks? How are you, Everest? And you, Rogue? How are you? Can you hear that and see that, okay? Should be okay in theory. Can see in here? Excellent, excellent. Sorry, just sent some stuff. I've got to go out a little bit later, just making sure I got. Uh... There we go. Did something happen yesterday? No, no, I was, I was just out. I just wasn't. I wasn't um, around in the evening, was all. Um, and I'll be out this evening as well. So. Yeah, I heard the new uh, Dragon's Dogma patch has been has had a bit of patch. I'll um, I'll have to have a look. Well, if I, I don't, I don't know how long this will take to. Uh, I, I like. I don't know how long this will take to stream or whatever, but. Because it could be a long demo, it could be a short one, who knows. Uh, if you can hear the game through my headset, let me know, because I've got the speakers on for this. Please not turn off your PlayStation 5 or exit the game. Honestly, it's kind of hard to instantly turn off a PlayStation, I feel. Portion of the game's first section, nice. How dare I have a life, I know, right? I'll be back, uh, schedule will be back to normal tomorrow. It's just that um, I'll be in Bristol tonight, so, you know. What settings have we got then? Uh, ponytail length, that's quite funny. Why would you change the ponytail, I wonder? Maybe if it annoys you? Subtitles are on. Mm. Motion blur. Ooh. I'll leave it on for now, but motion blur is usually kind of disgusting. But on a console, it might be required to protect the frame rate or something, I don't know. Graphics modes, balanced. Resolution prioritizes the resolution and frame rate. Cool. It's kind of interesting we're getting more and more like graphics settings on these things, but... If you dip in a heated marmite, it'll instantly turn it off. Yeah, it probably would, actually. Enemies are weakened. Nah, let's go for normal mode. So I heard this is kind of a mixture between like a Bayonetta-esque game and like a Souls style or Sekiro. Like, so I'm kind of curious how that final plays out. As of now, Airborne Squad Seven will exterminate the Alpha Nativas occupying District Three. Their objective is the capture or dispatchment of the Elder Nativa. Pods entering atmosphere. Nonsense of hours is illegal, right? If I finished Rebirth, I was actually playing a little bit earlier, um, I've got to Nibbleheim, just, so I don't know how far that is. I've heard the music in this is absolutely bopping as well. Also, I kind of feel it's like, really important for games like Bayonetta and like, in games like this, to ha the story should be absolutely batshit bananas. I always feel that's kind of the fun with this kind of with these kind of games. Again, let me know if you can hear it through my headset because it is a little bit loud. But this only hasn't played the OG. I haven't played much of the OG either. I played like I don't know the Midgar section in the OG game. Never got rated much further, so I'm just pootering through and just kind of enjoying myself. Oh, whoops. Yeah, the chat box is a bit fucked. The there we go. Is that better? I think it's because at some point I was accidentally dicking around with the, um, with the stream settings. Perfect. Thanks, Everest. Whatever these people are doing didn't look like a very successful assault. Why 
What's the aim of a failed assault? Then I guess they did a good job then, I guess. Good for them. Wow, rude. This is the only way these people could actually like land on the planet. Like, could they have maybe gone like not into the guns? Or maybe that's the point. Maybe they wanted to go into the guns to sh show who's boss. Zero seven five three one. Pod landing complete. Removing physical shield. Opening hatch. Also, did I hear? Was she a Brit when she said no? Don't know. Hatch. Come on. Come on. She sounds, she sounds British. Can't get out, game over. Tucky. Ian, are you all right? They're all British. This place is dangerous. Take my hand. No hand holding allowed. Disgusting. Goodness gracious. Good looking game though. Oh yeah, look at the size of a ponytail. I'll take care of this side. So let's see. We can slap these little grubblers with... We have a guard bar. Nice. So how do we parry them? Do we parry them just doing the perfect time? I think this is a little bit loud, isn't it? Sorry. Is this game the anti woke got the anti woke people got hard on for because it's got sexy layers apparently all they care about? I genuinely have no idea. Anytime I see people talking about stupid shit like that, I turn off immediately. Oh we got different like suits or whatever. No sunglasses, terrible. So what else is in here? Exosphemes. Oops, sorry, I keep like pushing the wrong button clearly. So you can unequip your suit. I feel that's not necessarily a good idea. The skin suit. No shields. Is this a game that's designed with someone who's never seen a woman? Thanks. Is that what IGN said? That's quite funny. I don't know a huge amount about this game, but I do know that I'm pretty sure they based the uh, the main lady off an actual model. So I can only assume they've seen at least one woman. It is very like near, isn't it, the music? The music. I think if you have a load of grifters on Twitter trying to tell you that you should buy this game because it's quote anti-woke or something, you should probably block all of them because they're fucking idiots. If you've got a load of people on Twitter saying you shouldn't buy this game because it's got an attractive woman in it, you should probably block them because they're a bunch of idiots. Like, don't don't let random people dictate what you should or shouldn't like. Let me dictate it instead! <laughs> oh dear. I like the gribblers, they look pretty cool. Okay, reflect parry. So Sekiro, right? Yeah. Like it? Oh, I see. So you can reflect parry, then get an attack on. It's because I'm not streaming later, so I uh, want to have a look at this today. Yeah, the music's very near. Press and use a beta skill. Great, let's go. When you hit an enemy or parry an enemy's attack, beta energy is stored. Okay. 
No double jump though. Do I have a dodge, I wonder? Are you alright? Uh, my body frame. Take this. It's first aid. Thank you. Hey Nacho. What if they say you should buy the game because the lead character's hot? There's more of them. There we go, so I've healed myself up. Alright. It's on it. Oh, did I fail at what I was supposed to do? Oops. Sorry. Then the game wanted me to follow her, I guess. There's more of them. Oh, we do have a dodge. Timing down a little bit better. Let's get out of here before more of them show up. There we go. You secured. One to be pointed. Why are you finding it? We don't know yet. We've just been dropped into this thing, and then uh, we're not quite sure what the, the dealio is yet. I love how long her ponytail is. Like that must be an absolute bitch to wash. Oh. Was that me not looking where I was going? Runs at 60, which is quite nice actually because of it. There's no time for that. Oh, I see, if you go off the beaten path, you get the uh, the wigglies. That job you applied for got accepted. They're giving you a few more dollars. Oh, that's actually really fucking nice, dude. Congratulations. No, I'm really pleased for you, man. Games are escapist fantasy, such so a player is a lovely lady with legs longer than my entire body. Yeah, like, I think. I mean. Me personally, I don't care, like particularly, like you know. I, I I sort of subscribe to the if you don't like thing, don't buy thing, and I think you'll be okay. Like Stella Blade cannot hurt you; it it can't haunt your dreams. You'll be okay. If you if you think this is like horrible and sexist or whatever, that's fair enough, and you you have that right as your opinion. Let's go. It's the easiest way is just don't fucking buy it. If enough people feel the same way, then uh, that'll be that, won't it? An alpha nativa. Let's join them. Is this a boss man? <laughs> that it's not quite a motherfucking colony drop, but that's pretty good. That's a big ship. Still big woke you up and stole your TV, that's pretty tragic. I'm sorry to hear that. Still it maybe Still Big can hurt you. I just realized we got a little tie. That's quite nice. No. No. The squad's life signs. We're the only two left. Friggin' noobs, they should have looked up. They might be alright. They're just sleeping. Eve, pull yourself together. Taggy. Listen to me. We haven't completed our mission. Now it's just up to us to see this mission through. Understand? These are uh, the suits they're wearing. Reminds me of the Eva plug suits, actually. <laughs> How's the combat feel? It looks like I've seen Dark Souls more Katie like Devil May Cry. That's actually not far off. It, it's interesting. I kind of need to play. I need to get to a section which isn't like tutorialized really, and just muck around with regular enemies, to get more of a feel for it. Let's let's see how this guy feels. So we lock onto him and then. Okay. 
Okay, so just trying to block him gets you smacked. I think you're supposed to Sekiro, um, Sekiro slap him, I think. I can't get the timing down properly. Need to watch his uh, movement a bit. There we go. That's that's sort. Of, that's the actual timing for it. There we go. It's definitely. I'd say it's more forgiving than something like uh, Dark Souls or Sekiro, for sure. Weirdly, like the fact that the fact that she's here as well kind of isn't helping because the monster's not focusing on me fully, which is making my t is making it a bit more hard to get the timing right. Oh, that was three. The music seems really good so far as well. I was going to ask a question why everyone is, is like a lady here. But I wonder if it's another Yoko Taro of- a uh, Yoko Taro approach of Why are your entire cast women? I just like girls. Yeah, fair enough. The damage to your body frame is serious. The director went, I really like Neo Automata, made his own Korean version. That's fair enough. We have to find the, supply camp. the combat's a little bit different, which is interesting. There is a dodge function, and I don't know... I need what to sort of play around with the little dodge function a bit. Something. Eve. It's the same director as Nikki. Oh, that's the ass game, isn't it? On mobiles. Eve, are you alright? Our poor character Eve is just getting like fucking rocked around by literally everything. Alpha I wonder if this is going to be a Claymore thing where like the dudes tend to turn out to be gribblers or something. The monster design looks really neat though. It's me you want, immediately looks at the other one. No! She doesn't need that, does she? She's probably fine. Eve! Get out of here! Ducky! F and Pepperoni. Like, I wonder if they're going to go, like, truly fucking batshit bananas in terms of how the story's going to go. I kind of hope they do. I kind of hope it's, like, the like the weirdest, like, the weirdest shit. Like, you think it's, like, a, like you know, like kind of like Claymore goes, almost, or um, or even Eva. Like, you think it's a, it's a thing about robots punching each other. It turns out to be anything but that. Hey, everyone. I think we got through the designated tutorial stage. I actually really like this. I actually dislike tutorial stages in these like action games. Like Bayonetta's one's annoying as well because you either don't have all the moves yet and it tries to give you them one by one, or the way they set up the fights is just kind of annoying. It's much much nicer and easier to like just have your sort of standard setups. You can uh, still muck around I'm with sure the controls a bit more. That's where the Alpha and AT bias. Graphically, this game's a hell of a stunner. Like it, like, I assume it looks quite nice in the stream, but like it's um, 
It's very, very nice. Isn't Claymore relatively straightforward? Nah, I don't think so. Depends, depends how far you've gone. I don't want to say too much more. Now, get ready. I'll be supporting with the drone. <laughs> Those shoes. So this must be eight or seven. Yes. This was the final battlefield of civilization. Looks nice. Well, probably. It's also known as a truly colossal city. Something is falling from the sky. Are we giving it a reasonable time? Is Disgusting it? behavior, right? It's because I'm not streaming tonight, guys, because I'm, I'm out tonight, so I thought I'd uh, have a look at this. So I wanted to check out the demo, and I figured you guys would be interested too. Have a job to do here. Those shoes are incredible. The terrain data's changed. She's like a walking jelly machine. Look at her. She's made out of, like, liquid. I do love her hair, though, actually. Her hair's really cool. So do we have any ability to... We have skills. So there's a skill tree of sorts. And I guess we gain we gain skills by doing stuff, which is fine. Different combos. There's a survival tree. Perfect dodge. Completely evades enemy attacks. Oh, nice. Ah, so you unlock perfect dodge, and then you can do it. Right, right, okay. Cool, cool. Like it. Fast travel. Interesting. Actually, funny enough, there is an option in the games. I don't know if I can do it from here. I can change the ponytail to short. So you'd have a shorter one as well. <laughs> wait, wait. It, her hair ornament is her sword. Fucking hell, no, I've seen everything. Do that again? Oh, that is disgustingly smooth. Did you see that? Oh, oh I like that animation. <laughs> I was about to ask why she doesn't have a short uh, sword sheathed on her back, but it's probably so you can see her bum better. <laughs> I'm expecting the lowest common denominator here. Falling debris. Be careful. She can't jump very high. Oh, gribblers. Press R2 to recover items. Money! Alright. So is this stage based? It's got like a fast travel system, so I'm kind of interested. Passcode. Okay. It's a security code. A type of entry permit. The music sounds interesting. I kind of want to turn up a little bit so I can hear a bit better. If one of your outfits vacuum sealed... Wait, I mean, without being a massive lech, like, you think this outfit's pretty, uh, pretty spicy? Look at this one! I'm not entirely sure you could call this an outfit, really. It's a bit of fabric on, you know, important bits. Goodness gracious. I don't know if she's space British or not. I need to hear her say some more lines. Try entering the cup. Just leave the hit leave the hint up, please, so I can see what I'm looking at. A other R other O What was the last one? Nice. It worked. That's the skin suit she wears underneath. Makes the game harder. Yeah, it takes the shield off. Yeah. It's because of the city's unstable terrain. You'll get used to it soon. Oh, we can dive. Interesting. Swim fast underwater. Oh, yeah. Does she have like a mask on, or does she just hold her breath? I wonder. Mm. 
nano elements. Okay. So it's like crafty sort of stuff? I don't know. I kind of want to unlock that perfect dodge and muck around with that as well. Capture still exists in the future, what a terrifying reality that is. Camp's a place you can save. You can activate it by get vit coins. Sit down on the chair to recover HP uh, and refill the rechargeable tumbler. Oh, that's our potions, I guess. Your sword item retrieved, okay. Use a vending machine to purchase items. Okay, sounds perfectly reasonable. Activate camp. Beep. I love it. Actually looks like kind of a comfy chair. Oh, this is how we got out of that situation, is it? She's probably fine. If we don't see her die on screen... Oh, I mean, did we see, maybe she did get stabbed in half, but, you know. Also, I am super loving this trend of demos carrying progress to the main game. Alright, so we've also got a vendor machine. So what's in here? Potions. So I got 94 dollar dues. Not enough currency. They call, oh, I see they cost 400 dollar dues. I'm, I'm broke ass bitch, okay. We've also got skill settings. So what have we got in here? I can learn a new skill. Yeah, I was about to say, it's telling me to get perfect dodge. Unsurprisingly. Dodging at the perfect moment. Okay. Oh, we can do it on training. Nice. So let's kill the kiosk to train it. Okay. Trying to work out what the timing is. Okay, try again. Okay, so it's a bit different. You have to basically... You're not dodging the skill physically. You're pushing it... Hold on. Yeah, come here. Mm, not e I'm doing it a little bit too soon, I think. That was too late. So you can dodge or double dodge. So you can like dodge and follow up with another attack. It's a bit of a weird one. It doesn't look like... Okay, so it's not like... It's interesting. It's not quite an instant sort of thing. Weird. Okay. Timing is actually a surprisingly tricky... Uh... But once you got the dodge, it gives you a fair whack of, like, iframes. Ooh, it's definitely a tricky timing on this. Demo's PS5 only, yeah? Interesting. It's a bit Sony published, isn't it? So it's gonna be- it's probably not gonna be on PC for a good year or so. Okay, so I can go left and right with the dodge as well, so let's- Can I dodge into it? Yeah, it's, the timing's tighter than something like Nier Automata, and it's more akin to something like Dark Souls, in terms of the actual timing, I'd say. Let's try parrying this instead, then.
What's interesting is the parry doesn't like deflect per se. Nice. Then you can follow up with that. Lead. What the hell? Thank you very much, Fire Phoenix. Sorry, I couldn't I couldn't see it at all. I don't think I've got that set up for the console at all. Apologies, let me get to the thingy. I'm gonna be logging with Twat on this so I can see what I'm looking at. Hey TLC. It's kinda like witch time, isn't it, in a way? Ha here's some dollar dudes. Thank you very much, Fire Phoenix. Seriously, man, that's super kind of you. Appreciate the dollar dudes, man. Alright, so the timing's a bit weird. It'll take me a while to get used to this. I can practice this before the game comes out anyway, though. Ooh. I was about to say, can you just have the guard up at the same time, I wonder? So you can physically dodge the skills. So is this Dark Souls in the sense if I rest, it um, resets the enemies, I wonder. Seriously, thank you, Fire Phoenix. That was very nice of you, man. Okay. Do we know the... No, we don't know anything yet, basically. Like, we've we've landed on a planet. Um, so these things we can just murder pretty quickly and easily. No much trouble for this. This bad boy is a good real world example. So let's. Come on, mate. So I can do a regular parry, which will stop damage. And there's a perfect parry from what it looks like. Ooh, what's this? Who's living in backlit chairs? I know, right? Do you think there's anything useful? So I can change potions. Okay. Well, it's Legion, so compatibility shouldn't be an issue. Rechargeable tumbler, lingering potion. Okay. Nice. Make sure to take everything. Abe, be careful. You see the rapids below. If you fall, it's over. Can I jump over there? Nice. This is pretty fucking cool so far, actually. Like I thought it look I thought it would be kind of entertaining from the demo alone, simply because, you know. <laughs> but like the actual combat is really solid. It's gonna take me a bit to get used to it. It'll help us survive. So look carefully. So can we craft on the fly? Don't think so. Materials used for crafting for nano suits. So I wonder how we craft. I guess we'll find out at some point then. Oh no, the yellow paint is back. Blessed be mighty yellow paint. I'll teach him. Enemies have uh, maintained a sense of balance. Balance display below HP and shield gauges. You can knock them off balance by using perfect parries. Enemies are completely off balance and become groggy. Okay. There we go. Combat's cool. Oh, she got the Bayonetta strut. Not quite as good as Bayo's, but not... Actually, it's pretty similar to Bayo's. She sort of moves her legs in a very similar way. That's quite funny. Oh no, a demon starfish. 
scan for hidden enemies. Oh, I can perfect parry them out of the charge. Oh, that feels so good. That feels pretty cool. Yeah, Rebirth has yellow paint in places you probably don't need it. You can quick gear to increase your combat abilities, okay? So this is basically chips from Nero Automata then. So let's do that. Gear. Combo attack enhancement gear. Cool. Wait, is it is it in her hair? Is that where the gears appear on this like headpiece? That's kind of fun. Don't have any earrings. Fine. Huh. <laughs> vibrates the controller. You do that. The weapon thing in her headpiece, yeah. Is she a robot? I don't think so. I, they, all, they all looked relatively human so far. Lots of like human, red human juice coming out in that when we get sla slapped by stuff. Locating for things being hanged. Great. Oh, I see. So you can. Uh. Are other cities in a similar state? By comparison, this city is looking pretty good. After the colony extinction, most places were nothing but dust. So we can jump up this. <laughs> that camera. <laughs> the camera angles. <laughs> Cool. So we can see crates and stuff doing this. That's a nice way of like finding goodies. A human? Disgusting. Huh? Wait, there's a fusion cell. Let's open the car's hood. Now we get over there. Maybe we can go around from the other side. Ah, probably through bar 99, I guess. Right. At least the fusion cells attack. Fusion cell? It's a high energy compression battery. Thanks to that, Earth's night isn't done. Her shouting doesn't feel right in the attacks. It does sound a bit odd. It's Maybe it's the previous a... generation of the infinity cell. Be sure to keep that. It's very valuable. I <laughs> reminds me of that meme. It, uh, like her uh, armor here, right? Let's see. It reminds me of that meme. You know, where it's like um, bikini armor is like the small brain, practical armor is like the bigger brain, and it's like ornate armor with frilly bits and stupid shit everywhere. It's like the galaxy brain. <laughs> it's like got got random little laces and frills on this. Oh, my dude. I wonder if we can get, like, uh, potions back by slapping dudes. Around here was the, uh... Oh, all oh, the parrying is good. Again, very Sekiro. Very Sekiro. Except in Sekiro, the enemies are kind of human-like, so it's a bit obvious like when they're going to swing a sword, so we're going to have to get used to that for sure. Yeah, the enemy design seems pretty neat so far. We don't have a passcode. Maybe this dead man has the passcode. I guess not. I'll we'll have to look around, I guess. Can we see anything else over here? There's another human over that way. Go that way and have a look. Oh! Wait till I go up and down a ladder. Do you think it's, uh. It's a trap! Oh no!
Man, the music is fucking funky, isn't it? Ooh. Oh damn, this guy's got a big uh Wonder how we deal with the little ones more efficiently. So attack the drum to Let's heal again then. Timing on the dodge is, is weird. Just get used to that. Attack twice, okay. You must dodge the yellow attacks, okay. Oh no. F. You died, you are dead. <laughs> I don't know why he needs to tell me twice I'm dead, but I, I respect that. Yeah, it could be the wide air attack with the L1 triangle, maybe? It's probably the one forward. Here we go, skip the. This is attack the drum. So this one, I guess. Oh, nice. That big one's pretty scary, I need to... Can I... So you got to try not to necessarily play it like Bayonetta per se, where you can just stay on a big enemy. I think you actually need to play it more like Neo Souls sort of. And if there's tons and tons of them, it's best to... Best just to uh, back off a little bit. This is Code Vein and Neo with some Bayo, yeah. So I think I think that's like I think what I was doing there was trying to bayonet it where there's about eight thousand angels and Bayo laughs as she like, I don't know, like kicks them in the balls or whatever. Right, let's heal up quickly. Yeah, the timing's tricky. I need to try and, uh... Yeah, I need to get used to the timing a little bit better, probably, but, uh... Where do we go now? This way. There are traces of marker. So I wonder if the tricky bit is you only get three of the bulk standard heal. You only get three of the box down to heals per area, so you need to like try and manage that. It's fully healed there. Didn't we say there was a human around here somewhere? Yeah. This enemy he's a real he's a real sussy back of this guy. Okay. This man have my code, or this lady even. May your memories be 
forever. Max speed to energy increase. Okay, cool. So it's worth seeking and stuff out then. I think my energy regens um, when I parry and do other stuff like that, I think it said. Is there a way up that I miss, or is this just an optional area? Oh, over there. We actually lost quite a lot of energy. I wonder if we get ambushed every time. Like, should I... I wonder if at this point the sensible choice is to go back, heal up at the thingy. Like, I need to work out whether I'm treating this like a Souls game or whether I'm treating this like Bernetta. So let's go, let's go heal up and see what happens. The enemies do respawn um, when you rest, yeah. But I wonder if the ambush will. Okay, so you can't parry when you do the charge. Right. Gotcha. So do I lose the progress? Or do I keep what we've done, I wonder? Hint. Come on. Follow the markers. Piss off! So we, I think we've done that again. So now, yeah, so it, it's also, it does save us a little bit, I think. Okay. The delicious yellow paint. Yes. Is there anything along here? It kind of feels like there's going to be something here. Or maybe it's just an alternative way to go. Or if you fall down, maybe? To cross here. You see the ladder behind me? I don't know what the BE is. Unless BE is the, yeah. Uh, so what's SA? I wonder what SA. Sh shield. I should not shields. And then BE is my energy from my actual attacks and stuff. So what's underwater? So can we get in there? Can I jump? No, it doesn't look like it. So I have to jump up top to go underneath that bit, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Well, there's something underneath here. So I think the game gives you three basic heals per checkpoint. Like per like bonfire, whatever you want to call it, and then you can buy additional heals should you want to. Why is that highlighted? Can we break that or is it just No, it's just it's just yellow. Okay. There we go. More dead dudes. Sorry, dead dude. There's something falling in the sky. I wonder what the orb. I wonder what it is. I didn't hear the orb's explosion warnings go off. So are these alum owls, I wonder. So there's a. Okay, so we jump onto that. Then we jump onto that one, and then we can climb here. But we can also. Oh, there's literally a ladder there. I didn't even notice. But we can also go in here and then get the treasure chest. The end got seemed like a lot of lot of stuff into it, which is interesting. Again, I don't know if this is like going to be level based or this stays like reasonably open because I did see a fast travel option. 
So I can only assume that there's going to be, um... So how do we get out of here then? Oh, I see. Let me go and get the ladder. Or this is where I found out I should have kicked the ladder down. No, I didn't. I don't know. I think this might be the case. Right. Sorry, Eve. We're going to have to do some dubious camera climbing again. She's actually pretty quick when you, uh, you're you aiming at the correct stuff here. Yeah, stage design so far is pretty cool. Weird, weird enough, I'm getting Darksiders 1 vibes for the world. Ah, oh, come on! That nah, was, nah, was probably on me. Right, let's try again. Like, that's all, like, post-apocalyptic kind of style. There we go. Look at that statue. Some, some like the city design here is pretty funky. It's like a, like especially the weird statues. I wonder what the implication is for those. Right, can I can I shuffle along this to make a? I can. So I can aim slightly better. Ah. Not getting the right angle for that, I feel. I got it right the first time. If I try and jump on the ledge directly again, maybe. That's why I should have kicked the ladder down. Fool! Do we reckon that the boss theme is going to go ham, by the way? I got, I got a distinct impression the boss theme is going to like, mega ham. Okay, can I knock this down? No, I can't. Oh look, here's a camp. Okay. So how much did it cost? Oh, I see, I picked up a vit, vit coin or whatever and it's given me one for these camps. So I guess these early tutorial camps you'll always get one, maybe? So do I, what do I want to use in the shop? Grenades. Highly concentrated potions, pulse grenades. Resets your skill tree. Oh, interesting, that's quite cheap as well. I guess for the demo purposes, you can just muck around with different skills if you want to, maybe? I'll buy a potion, seems useful. Right. So what have we got here? Aerial hits. What have we got on survivability again? We got two, we got another locked, multiple lock trees. Beta, attack, and survival. So what else we got survival words? Makes it easier to do a perfect parry. Interesting. Is there a makes it easier to do it? It does. So there's a there's a an increased window in terms of Ugh. I might save up and get one of those because I'm very close to the next point. Ooh. I can change the song at the camp. Fun. There's a funky song. What does a perfect dodge get you? I don't know. At the moment, it just seems to be another way of dodge dodging a skill. Because there's certain skills you have to dodge. It's like Lies of P. You can parry lots of skills, but you can't parry them all. I think there's only a few songs on there at the moment. Whee! How do you climb? Oh, I thought I was hoping like 2B should... <laughs> I was hoping like 2B should climb at the top and then, you know... And do that flip. Whee! We have to go through this building. Try putting the fusion out here. Is that some sort of giant crab with a shield? I respect that. Oh no, it's not a shield. Oh, I tried to dodge that, but I obviously didn't. I wonder how much easier the uh, the, the parry will be once we got the perfect parry in place. Mm, 
I tried to, again, tried to dodge that, but... I don't know what the timing is on the dodge. I'm definitely not getting that right. Right, if I get the skill up point. Yeah, there we go. I should get. There we go. I've got another skill. So I'm going to go back now and grab that. Oops. Look, there isn't a ladder. Isn't the grab unparable? Yeah, maybe it is a case of you physically have to just move and dodge it. Oops. Right. Ah, oh, damn it. Gimme. I was doing this in Final Fantasy all yesterday. Like, I'm trying desperately to, uh... No, no I don't want to climb the chocobo. No, I don't want to climb the chocobo. <laughs> right, makes it easier to perfect parry. So, let's see what that means. Is that an additional frame or two? Like, I wonder what the difference is. Let's have a look soon. This is very cool so far. Very much enjoying this. Right. Where's Crustacean Man again? Yeah, it looks like you want to be physically out of the way of that then. Oh, wasn't far enough away. Oh, you can dodge that. You can. You, can, you actually can dodge it. Just the timing. Oh, the enemies are surprisingly difficult timing. He's a good. He's a good little practice guy. I think I need to get the timing down a little bit. Here we go. Right, I'm, just, I'm using. I'm gonna use Crabladocus to. Um, will I take damage for this? Ow! Use Crabladocus to try and test my parry timing. Oh, I see. He was already wounded from last time. Interesting. So I wonder what I lose for dying. I wonder what the problem is. Maybe there isn't one. There's another baddie around here that we can see. There he is. Oh! Feels good when you get that parry up. The network has been destroyed. I completely disconnected from the colony's data link. We have nowhere to fall back to. Is this an... Was it Nyatabaz? 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 Nyatibus? The Mother Sphere? There's some interesting terminology here, and I'm kind of curious what this is all about. And I'm guessing we have to come back to some of these when we've got the codes for them. Light. Shit. 
shield. Eve is protected by shield. Eve has damage reduction when the shield is active. The damage reduction effect increases as the shield protection level increases. The protection level decreases each time it takes a hit. So my name is also protected by a shield. Destroy the shield. Okay. Ah. Oh. Man, the dodge timing is tough. It is a really, really tough dodge timing. Okay, unlike Sekiro, I think I'm, I know where I'm kind of going wrong a little bit. I don't think you can attack and immediately block. So if you want to have the parry ready, you have to stop attacking, I think. Ah. Yeah, the timing is kind of odd. Yeah, I think I, I should be using the skills a lot more, actually. Adam, what is this? Don't you know this already? It's a map. A map? How do you synchronize the location on the map? <sighs> you never seen a paper map before, Eve? Come on. Some dirty Android porn going on here. Right. I'm gonna go heal up since we uh, took a fair whack of damage, don't it? How do I click a book, Adam? You can't block counter the animation. That's what it looks like. You didn't say you were streaming midday. I didn't see the announcement. I'm not streaming this evening. No, no, I'm, I'm out this evening. So I thought, but I wanted to check out this, and I know that quite a few of you were interested in what this game would look like. So I'm just, uh, with a chill stream, I'm just, I'm not rushing anything, I'm taking my time, practicing. Because what I'll probably do, even though I'll carry save data over, for the sake of people who didn't see this, I will probably, um, restart the game. Uh, when the game actually comes out fully. <laughs> Crab Boy seems like a good test. Like, he's, he just seems to be a pretty sturdy sort of enemy. He does, like, a, a second sweep there. Ooh, it's that it's that second it's that second sweep he does is quite nice too. Oh, I couldn't get it right. God damn crowd people. There was another crab person here, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, you definitely can't go in uh, expecting to hit after that, so that's interesting. Again, I think it's less Bayonetta and more Devil May Cry. Uh, sorry, a more like Code Vein Neo. So you want to? Oh, look at that! There we go. So what you want to do is attack, 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 wait, attack, attack. We're not, we're not trying to build combos up here. Interesting. Okay. Sorry, one more, and then I'm, we'll carry on. That's 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 kind of cool to see. I will thank you, El. Yeah, you get. It seems like you get your um, energy back very fast, and it's like the you want to keep utilizing the energy. Right. Where are you, Crabladocus? Where is he over here? So that's... So each enemy, just like uh, in any other sort of style game of this, you've got the multiple ways of uh, handling each enemy. Oh, that was a third hit. There we go, retribution. Okay, that was definitely better. 
That was definitely a better way of handling it. Nice, okay. Yeah, it's about getting your BE back, right? And then... Cool. So that overhead is an easy punish. Oh, that, I always forget that's the third one. Oh, it's quite hard to get away in time from that from that grab if you're if you're super close. Yeah, the dash is to let you close in exactly. Can we climb up here? Yeah. Can you do the Sekiro sprint where you dodge back and hold it to run? Let's have a look. Walking, this is standard walking, dodge. Is that sprint? Yes, I think you can. Yeah, that looks like a sprint to me. Yeah, you can, you can continue to hold it to run. Yes. Oh! Oh, getting the charge on these guys feels fucking tidy. Double dodge is a bit messy at the moment. Look, there's one dodge. And there's double dodge. And then double dodge is that one. It's a bit weird. I wonder if we should get like a more elegant dodge later. True cone. The crack is quite deep. It's going to be difficult to pass. We'll have to go across, past the parking tower. Her bum is extremely shiny. I I wasn't gonna say anything about cracks. No, like, that that's you guys having your minds in the go. Alright, so this one's fine, but that one's an enemy. So can I get a first strike if I Yes. Oh, I can, but he doesn't appreciate it. Yeah, that's much to move. I'm taking a little bit of damage still. But that was much tidier. What's her story? We don't know. We don't know yet. We actually haven't had... Um, we haven't had um, an explanation of what, what's going on as of yet. There's a dead man down here at the parking town. You can read the story of Q to eight yesterday, it was not great. Without spoilers, how come? Like what what was the what was the, what would you say was the overall problem with it? Or is it too spoilery? The gutter in this case being her ass. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Good reason to look around as well, which is nice. Permanent upgrades, always classic. Oh, is this a crafting station? A supply camp in a place like this. Supply camp? What's that? It's a depot set up by the airborne squad who came here before. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Tilsa. That's a bit of a Looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. It's never nice I've when it's, uh, you know, camp in a corner like you like kind of feel like that after a game. Well, the supply camp also serves as an important base. She's British. Is this parking lot important? It could also mean that this place is very dangerous. Then I guess this place could be useful. Hey, Dolly Thaloop. So can we now craft here as well? Supply camps uh, have feature more devices. You can repair, enhance weapons, increase... I will... This is not going to be a like a Metal Gear revising, uh, Rising thing. I will make sure we upgrade our weapons. Increase the rechargeable tumble account and, and upgrade your exospines, okay? You can also craft nano suits and fast travel, okay? Do you have to activate it first again, I guess? Lude. Yeah. Metal Gear. Okay, so this is repair console, fast travel. Next song.
Attack power enhancement. Tumbler enhancement. I don't have any. Oh, I can enhance a weapon core. I guess let's do that. Attack power increased. Nice. There's a recyclable bin here. Use the shop. Skill settings. Rest. I wonder how we craft stuff then, because it said you can craft here, but I don't see an option to do so. I think that my next one I'll probably get is going to get the improved dodge. Oh, it's telling me to learn blink. Am I not getting a choice in the matter? Okay. Oh, it gave me a free skill, that's why. It gave me a free one. When an enemy glows blue and attempts a fatal attack, use bl Ah! There we go. So that's what we were missing, I guess. If the enemy's in the skill range, use... Okay. Press up and dodge when Eve's sword glows and move to the target's rear and counterattack. So that's the... That's the... That's the... Dodge blink. Okay, so let's 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 try it. Let's let me just eat shit a second. Love the statue, dude. It's a bit creepy. Did I maybe I read that wrong? So you, I I for some reason I saw X, but I think it's all only the it's just the blink one. So we can teleport behind the enemy. Let's try. It. There we go. Yeah, that's really nice. We'll do one more. Nice. Cool. I think I got that. So that that explains why we why these uh what are these stream tags? Oh, I think that was Rufa. <laughs> I haven't changed them. So I don't see a way of crafting anything at the moment. So. Yesterday. Thank you for saving What's with me. the horse related tags? Because there's no horse show. The horse show is cancelled. That's nothing really. Though I have used up almost all of the exospine materials that I collected over the years. Hi. Oh. Oh. It's alright. That now means we can help each other. So do, do we reckon he's human, or...? We can track down the Alpha Nativa together. And, well, I'd have trouble making it out here by myself anyway. She's got, like, the highest of high heels. If you can locate the Hall of Records, you'll have done more than enough. Listen, don't worry. I promise, I'll make sure to repay you. Yeah, I don't think we can craft anything yet, or if we can, I don't quite know how. Even though the game said we can craft stuff, but maybe we haven't unlocked that particular tutorial yet. So we carry on going up, I guess. There's a grub on there, is there? This smells like a boss arena. Look. What an absolute unit. That's not an ordinary enemy. Adam, get back. What a lad.
Abaddon. Cool name. Get parried on, nerd. Oh, yellow is physically dodge, right? Whereas blue is the grab one. There we go. Yeah. Oh god. It was all going so well. Did Platinum do this? No, it's um, the Korean studio. The guys who did Nikki, Goddess of War. Get absolutely parried on, nerd. Man, the combat feels very, very fun. Like, I'm not very good at it, mind you, but it's uh, it's very, very fun. Need some practice. Oh, this is like a demo reel. Okay. I was like, what the fuck? I can see the space center over there. This is the turret's motion center. What do we do now? The drone is different. Yes, this is no longer the drone you knew. Adam. Are you listening to me? Something serious seems to have happened. I have to return to Zion. Oh my god, it's Sanic the Hedgehog! Fucking hell. Oh my hell. goodness. It's full of plants and little birds. Blood. ACV, yeah, I, th I think the demo's finished. Well, at least well, I assume the demo's now finished. Just doing like a scissor reel. Oh, yeah, now they're showing you what you can do if you've got loads more skills and stuff. That's pretty fun. Look at that. Get absolutely shreked on, nerd. You get to play more. Oh, cool, okay. I mean, I was probably going to get this anyway, but that demo really like solidified that I absolutely want to get this day one. That's fine. fucking absolute riot. I wouldn't ever forget to upgrade. Would I like to... D additional deluxe cosmetic items, you say? Ooh. I will, but I probably won't get it from here. I'll get it from, like, a shop or something. I like having disc versions of PS5 games. Boss challenges were unlocked. Nice. Oh look, we got like a ladybird outfit. Do we have any different outfits? We do. Racers high. That's the one we were using. A different one. Oh, like a yellowy one. Oh, that's oh, that's very metallic on the back, kind of, kind of like that. And the wasteland adventurer. These are all really cool outfits. I like this one. The description, the exotic scent collection outfit designed by Tetrastar, CT lead designer, Galaxy Alan, 
or Alan probably, it said that the embedded nano elements are loaded with a malicious code that is some kind of electronic drug so you can boost enhanced speed. Do you, do we think that they wanted to make a dress up game with a very attractive lady and they just made a really cool game around it? <laughs> All right, well, should we, should we use the, we'll use the ladybird one. Oop, whoops. We'll use the ladybird one. There we go. She got earrings as well. Cybernetic tooth. Oh, yeah, it's like actual earrings, though. Give us some glasses if we want. Beta charge gear increases speed. Melee protection gear. Oh, we've got different stuff. Here we go. Damage reduction. Fixed damage on combat. Damage reduction. There's some interesting stuff in there. An exospine. So this is a like damage reduction one. All right, let's let's, let's try with their default damage reduction build, and let's see what sort of boss we get to. So we got multiple skills. We do we do have extra skills, yeah. It's hiding. This is the stalker. So I do do this to build up some energy, I guess. This lad's got definitely got a bit more HP in him. Oh, I see. He's like charging up. Spicy. So I got a grenade here. A stun grenade? Oh, cool. So I can incorporate that into combos. Oops, let me see that. This is gonna, it is in a way gonna be like Bayo sometimes where it's easier on, oh, four attacks. Oh, ball's purple. Purple's new. I assume that's purple anyway. Hitter. I wonder if you can play this like really like sec almost Sekiro style cocky where you can just sort of sit in one spot and let them come to you and fit them. If you get the timing right stuff. One more and he's off balance. You need like a taunt option, like it like Nero in Dumbasaur. Ah, oh, I missed the dodge. Oh, he's not dead. In a way, just like Dragon's Dogma 2 has done, it's almost like a PlayStation, like, a PS3 game come to life. You've got, like, ridiculous outfits, quick time events in boss fights, like, all sorts of stuff.
Fantastic finish. You defeated the boss, retry. So now we could like potentially change the build around and see see what difference it makes. So we're on a protection one. Let's go with reflex. Makes it easy to perfect dodge and perfect parry. Shield regenerates and using guard. Okay, let's try that. And then this one is a damage protection. What else we got here? Increases gold, damage reduction, max shield, attack speed, bonus XP. Try attack speed, I guess. And what else we got here? Protection, melee reduction, all the same sort of stuff, I guess. This one's recharged, it's fine. In that case, let's use that suit this time. Alright. Can I change my skills around? I'm assuming I can't. So we've got all of these. So we've got... Makes it easy to perfect. Allows another dodge while dodging. Double dodge. Oh, there we go. So you unlock a double dodge. Okay. Oh, the purpley pink one is going to be down and dodge. Okay, down and dodge. Fine. Come on, nerd, let's have another go. Ah, I don't think I tried to dodge that. I tried to parry that and I can't do it. Right, that one's down. That one's down and though. That's kind of like free damage, isn't it? Ooh. The dodging is still the hardest thing for me at the moment. It's getting the timing around that. Oh, getting all four feels good. That's really nice. So I definitely got less defense in this one. Like the 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 spine the spine difference is pretty noticeable. Ah, oh, took a rock to the forehead. Let's try again with that setup. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Oh, well, sorry, my phone's going bananas. What's that about? Cool. Alright. So that actually doesn't work. One, two, three. Yeah, there we go. That's the back, back and triangle. There we go. And that that sort of bends him. Oh, what was this? Should have done. Should have done a thing. I feel. It reminds me, um, in Sekiro, if you, I think if you block, you don't take, um, you don't take any damage at all. 
Whereas if you don't perfect block in this, I feel you you two take a bit of damage. Absolutely binned in that time, though. The yellow pins will help is his balance gauge. Think like Sekiro's stance gauge, it's that. Oof. Wow, that was nasty. He's a fun, he's a fun boss to fight. I, I, I'm assuming he's quite an early boss on. He's also got like a cherubi thing in his chest, I just noticed. Oh god, there was more. Oh god, there was more to do that. Ugh. Dead. The music's pretty fun, I find. I think the music's pretty good. Right, I need to be able to beat him with this setup. I need to be able to beat him with this setup. The defensive set obviously lets you have way more mistakes than this more aggressive one, but. That flame tech is nasty. Yeah, because a couple of hits and I do lose like about half my health actually. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Oof. I think I'm over attacking again. I'm over attacking again and sort of taking the hits. I love the glowing shoes. Alright. Man, I've got to try and get used to the, t the dodge timing. Yeah, I'm not sure what the, the yellow glowing bit is. I can obviously do something with it, but I'm not quite sure what. Dodging is weird, man. Dodging doesn't feel very intuitive like the pairing does. Like, I dodged there and thought that would be good enough, but I don't think it is. Interesting. Nice, there's some good follow-ups on that actually. Oh interesting, you can actually knock him out of stuff if you if you hit him hard enough. That's kinda of fun. Is 
It's like a stance break or something, it, it, like with that hit. Yes, yeah, so you can. Try, I think the idea is to try and keep the pressure up, like hard. He probably only works on enemies with no super armor. Could be. I don't know. He does seem to take a bit of a stagger when I hit him there. Like there, like I knocked him straight out of his own attack and I killed him. That went a bit better. I think I'm getting more used to the um, the powering system and stuff. The real the real secret is going to be um, getting used to the the dodge. I think the dodge is a weird one. Fantastic finish. Mm, explode into loot. Alright, so what are the spine have we got? We've got protection, and this is chain type. Increases attack power or combos. Crit damage increase. So this is more um, improving combo attacks. Let's try that one then. This is melee damage reduction. Fixed damage gear then. We'll put that one on. Actually, I'll put damage reduction instead of beta increase. And this time we will use Wasteland Adventure. Alright. So let's see what difference this one makes. Ow. See that's like the dodge is really tough. I wonder what this I wonder what that is. You can clearly do something, but I don't quite know what it is. Jiggly jiggly indeed. Let's heal here. Is there any skill after the pull? The probably, but I don't quite know what it is. I'll have to look in the skills page, actually. Probably tell me. Oh, I can dodge. Some of, some of the more blue ones are definitely a little bit quicker. You got to be a little bit off the ball on the ball with them. Oh, nice. Oh, I missed that one. That's bad. Gotta get back. I got one heal left, looking a bit dodgy. After that pose dodge, you hold a triangle for the attack that stuns. Oh, interesting. Oops. You seem to get a lot of free damage off when it does, right? Bend him that time. So we've, with, we've beaten with all three spines, actually. So the defensive spine definitely allows you for more mistakes, right? Like, no, no doubt about that. 
And no, no shocker there, really, either. Let's, let's you get away with a bit more. I wonder if we can fight the original uh, boss again. Finished. I wonder if we run back to the main menu, we can load back up that save and, um... Try the other guy. Oh, I see. You must complete the final boss to transfer to your main game. Okay, so you can't really do that again. Fair enough. Those are some butt-ugly aliens. They are pretty butt-ugly. So this is the... This is the defensive spine again, I'm guessing. Let's muck around. Let's, let's see how much damage... How much difference does that actually make? I'm... I'm I wonder if they're aliens or not. It does make me wonder. It's just the demo, yeah, it's just the demo. No, I'm trying triangle, but it's not working. Right, let's, let's, in fact, let's stop guessing. It's under... Reveals weaknesses of certain enemies. Doesn't say what that weakness entails, though. Yeah, the game's out in April. Dodging's, dodging is definitely the weirder of the two skills. I guess that's just a weak spot you can bash? Yeah, it could be. <laughs> See, there's, I don't think there's that many iframes on the actual dodge, weird enough. Because I just dodged into that rock and then just took, took, you know, took one for the team. Like there, like I did a dodge when I would expect that to like physically land, but I don't think that's it. I think I have to, I'm gonna have to look at how the actual dodge itself is supposed to function. It's interesting. It wants you to be precise with dodge rather than spamming. I think so. Oh, that's what it feels like. It feels like um, it's more about physically dodging the skill that's coming at you rather than iframing through it sort of thing. Is the game hard? Um, oops. I keep doing that, sorry. So, I wouldn't say the game's hard, per se. At least not so far, but then... Th I'd say the timing is reasonably tricky at times. I'd say the timing is reasonably precise. Like, I'll try and show you. Like, so, so, there we go. So the timing on that is very, very precise from what I can see. Like here and go, parry, 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 parry. Oops, missed. I got, I got like two. I got three parries there. I think. Two. Yeah, another two there. I would say it's a mixture between bayonetta and like bayonetta on like hard, and like something like neo or. Um, Oops. Oh, that doesn't look very pleasant. It's the first time I've missed that much. Yeah, I'm, I just dodged just then and that didn't seem to do anything. And same there. I wonder if double dodge gives you the biggest, sort of like... Can we dodge into the skills? No. Interesting. I've got everything sussed except the dodge. 
Like, I, the parry makes sense, the um, other stuff makes sense, but the dodge is definitely the weirder, weirder of this goes. Yeah, so I think if you're used to, like, character action games like Devil May Cry and stuff, like, I'd say this is more difficult than the sort of normal mode on that. I double jump at this point? I think I can. Oh, I can! There's a double jump! I didn't even test. So we do actually eventually get a double jump. Interesting. I think I much prefer the setup that isn't defensive and it's more parry based. I think that's a bit more interesting. I don't think it's. I don't, I don't think the punishing is too much, but I think it's more of a case. I don't quite know the timing yet. It's my suspicion. So how does this work? His shoulder's now weak. So if I jump and attack his shoulder... What is that? What if I can detach his arm or something? So you can't parry that anyway. Right. I'm going to try with the parrying setup again, because I think that was my favourite one. Uh, let's see... No, it was this one. Reflex type. That gives me less damage taken and more. Yeah, I mean that's fine. Right. This this is the this is the parrying and dodge one. I thought you could parry the rock. I think yellow means you can't, right? Wait, gun? There's a gun? What? Oh my god, there's a gun! That's hilarious, I'm really nice. So maybe the gun is how you target the weak spot. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Can you reload? No. Oops. Okay, let's... That's, that's just kind of interesting. No, you definitely can't parry the rocks. I figured you couldn't, but... There we go. Right, let's try... Oh, wait, do I need to put the thing... No, I don't. Okay. Let's try with the... Um... With the gun shooting the weak spot. I did wonder if it was down the deep pad to refill. I don't think so though. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I was totally I was totally not ready for it that time. Oops. Here we go, so that's that, and then we can... Definitely seemed to do some stuff on his arm, didn't it, though? It's gonna take me a while to untrain my like Sekiro brain or whatever, but I think it's uh 
It's a lot of fun. I need to try out these stun stun grenades as well a bit more. Is there a perfect opportunity to stun this sucker? I mean, he does something like... Ooh, nasty. The pips are balanced. So, the, the pips are a balance. Um, like, uh, if he's off balance, I think. And then you can do the, uh, the finisher. I'll try and show you if I don't fuck up my dodges. My parries. There you go. And now he's, now he's vulnerable because the pips are gone. Because you could actually do this reflex one where I think you actually stay relatively, um... I think you stay relatively, like, defensive and just parry him. Oh, right. I forget, he flails and does another one. Yeah. Maybe when he gets down to half health, he actually gets a few more moves. Because that's what I've noticed as well. Sorry, I hope you guys don't mind me just retrying. Like, it's good It's good practice for these kind of games, actually. Where I'm just, like, mucking around with stuff. The 6-hit combo is crazy. It's, it's an interesting one, but I think, um... Oh, right, you can't... I keep forgetting, you can't hold L1 and then... That's the... That's the four. That's the four, like that's, that's a, a four hit combo followed by the purple one. There you go. You can follow up the combo on that one. Ooh, tricky. You don't take as much damage, of course, when you when you when you parry it, but you still gotta be aware that you're taking a bit there. There we go. We managed to parry four out of the five hits there. But there I went a bit too aggressive and I took another hit I should have done. Yeah. It's like Sekiro combat, just relentless. It is a little bit. It's a little bit. I, I would say it's not quite as vicious as Sekiro, it's weird enough. I'm probably playing a bit too aggressive, um, if anything, but... I think that might be the thing, is I'm playing a little bit aggressive. It's called the Railyard because we get railed. He's actually... He's a tricky fight. Oh, I didn't uh, use the right move there. Managed to hit him out of it, but... Two, three, five. Oh, okay. You cannot cancel the heal. You can't cancel the heal. Learn that the hard way. It's a really fun game, though. I love the combat system. It's actually really, it's a really interesting combat system. Like, it's not just another Souls-like or something. It's, it's a very different sort of feel to it. Oh, too close. But the dodge is eluding me, man. I had the fucking foggy so the dodge works. That's the one thing. I need to look at a guide or something. Some distance here, so. I guess the thing is, you could actually just you could also play it like a bit more hit and runny. Like you can do that in Sekiro as well. But we could like potentially like wait him out a little bit like this. Like oh, that was cool. So we don't have to stay super close. Like I'm just sort of like doing it to sort of practice the. Uh, the skills. Yeah, we're not we're not super motivated yet. We need to be more motivated. 
I think the only thing that's motivated so far is the jiggle physics. There we go, that's the, that's the perfect parry on all four there. Oof, that's, a, that's a close one, that's quite nasty. And that one, there he is, he's parried out. Do so you think the Chronobooks are humans? I think they might be, yeah. Because some of them have human, like, I mean, this one's got a human, like, face, but it also could be, like, from a statue, it's kind of hard to say. Also, this thing is obviously taking longer to die, because I'm not using the skills as much, right? Because I'm, I'm trying to practice the, uh, the parrying. Like, we were constantly using the skills. Oops. Oh! Okay, that was actually accidentally super cool. That was accidentally super cool. Oh, I think he... Last thing to remember about the uh, oh, I'm dead. Oh, actually, I'm not dead. Last thing to remember about the um, the dodge is unlike the parry, it doesn't seem to like knock him about a little bit. So if you dodge and attack, you have to then get your attack and then block. Absolutely burn. Why well, do you customize your character's hair? I would assume so, because she's actually got different hair here, I think, than the, um, than the main game. At least it looks like it. I think her hair's slightly different. I think her hair changes depending on the costume, maybe? I'll have a check again in a second. So, we, we just saw how she looks in the green one, so let's, um... Fantastic finish. Oh, thanks, man. I feel like her hair's a bit different here. Right, let's have a look. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe I was imagining things. No, it all looks the same. This one has no shield on it. I'm guessing I'm guessing the real challenge of the demo is can you kill the boss with the no shield suit? That'd be quite tricky. Actually, she needs some glasses. There we go. So this is the protection one. Let's go for the reflex. No, let's go for the chain one, which again makes more damage. Let's do the more damage one. Let's see. Let's see if we can actually do more damage and kill it as quickly as we can. Let's see what we can do with that. I swear her head looks different. Maybe I'm imagining things. Yeah, barring the dodge, which I have no idea how to do yet, um, I think we're getting pretty decent about that. It's that third hit in the middle of that, which is actually really hard to... No hit runner, this would be quite fun to try and do. 
I'm guessing this isn't a very difficult boss either. I'm guessing this is quite an early boss, because he's, he's not going to most complicated reset. I attacked when I shouldn't have done. I attacked when I shouldn't have done. Ate all those attacks. You turn your daily walk to find been admiring a naked booty on your screen. <laughs> well, you know, that's always the risk of leaving the stream open, man. Holy shit, the timing on that dodge is, is fucking spooky. Oh, I wasn't quick enough. In terms of difficulty, in terms of the timing, it reminds me of the Sekiro guy. Uh, what's his name? Genichiro? Was it Genichiro? With the bow? That's that's what the timing sort of reminds me a little bit of. It, this guy's a, a, like a smidge slower, perhaps, but... Not Wu Man. Wu Man's good, though. No, it reminds me of a little bit of Genichiro. Like, in terms of, like, um, the parrying, like, clink, 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 clink. I actually wonder if it's better to physically dodge those. Oof, straight into the rock. The difference between the reflex suit and not reflex suit is actually quite quite large, which is surprising. He doesn't really show anything across the line. <laughs> to be fair, this is not TOS. It's just a bum's hanging out. Everyone needs a bum. It's very important. Apparently, I've, I've heard rumors there's going to be a PC eventually, but... Yeah, the timing on, on this is definitely definitely quite tight. You can definitely bully him pretty hard, but... Never heard of this before. What's the deal? Um, we don't. I don't know the story wise. I ain't got the fucking clue. But like, it's a action. It's like an action of. I don't know. It's a mixture between like. It's an issue. It's a mixture between something like Bayonetta and Dark Souls. Perhaps is the best best thing I can describe it as. Uh, action adventure game. Semi open. Not semi like open stages. I guess like not stage based. Bend. Like, it's, it's, an, it's really interesting. Yeah, Revengeance Bayonetta. Maybe like Neo Revengeance Bayonetta. I don't know. 
Near Retta, booty dice wise. Near Bayonetta dice wise. You guys have the same wavelength. It's very fine. It's on PS5 only, is the only thing. The story looks intriguing so far. Um, it looks like it's going to be a bit of a weird one, so... I definitely think my favourite is the Reflex. I think my Reflex one is my favourite. Oh wait, these things have stats? What? Each suit... Oh, they actually... Oh wait, no, no they don't. I was thinking each suit has a... Yeah, the reflex one is, like, kind of fun. Looks like there's a decent amount of customizable stuff here. Need to have a look through what the different skills are. Different combos. It's actually a surprising amount of different combos here. Rush chain. Ambush, chain cage. These different ah, so these are the different um, beta skills we got. Shockwave, shield breakers. That is the shield one. So yeah, it can stun enemies. So I did wonder. I did wonder. Catch you there, Fuki. Oh, yeah, that timing, that timing is so brutal. That's so mean. I think I definitely think the easiest way to do a lot of damage to him is, is There we go. It's just getting those parries off. I kinda like you can play in a very different way. You could do a hit and run style play for play. You could do a combo based play where you're trying to chip damage off like through combos. Or you can do like um this one I'm doing here, like parry and stuff. Ooh. I hear loud loot. Average Ween Watcher donated five dollars. Ween, I know the next game you should demo, Project Werewolf, it's free on Steam. The dono is for Vampire Maze though. I don't know either of those games, uh, Average Ween Watcher. What are those? Thank you very much for the donation. Like well, explain to me what which one's which. That's really nice. Oh! Those four perfect parries in a row feel so good. There's something really fucking cool about the Sekiro parry system, right? Like, just in general, just it feels good, it looks fun. I mean, it does if you're not eating shit, like I just did just there. Uh, oh god. <laughs> Project World is the third person adult survival horror game with a female protagonist. That th Those particular words strike fear into my heart somewhat. He says that I play the world's jiggliest game, but you know. Oh, damn! I, I seriously can't get that, that dodge. So the the big purple one you can kind of do on the fly, which is interesting. That's really nice. You can lock him down. I wonder with this. Yeah. Hmm. 
I didn't hit him out of that that time. Vampire Maze is loot. Well, is Vampire Maze like Vampire Survivor sort of thing? The timing on the blue attack is extremely forgiving. I think that four hit combo, you actually want to... I think the four hit combo, you want to actually protect yourself on the final hit. Because it's, it's too risky. It's too risky. Get absolutely shat on, Nerd Lord. Oh, that was five. That was five perfect parries. In a row. Oh, I wasn't quick enough. Five perfect parries in a row. That was cool. You found this error comment. Your ability to find the dumbest fucking things. I swear to God. Graphics are disappointing. Chromatic aberration. Why am I even reading this? This guy's blind. Grain filter. Low resolution textures. Can't see the models are good, but it looks like a late PS4 game. I went looking for shit and I found it. How does this keep happening? Oh, I wasn't quick enough. That that one's actually really fast. In, in his like halfway through, in his like halfway through damage phase, that's, he's, he's quite quick. And that's him bending. Is there a notable difference in PS4 and 5 games at this point? Visually, yes. Very much so. Yeah, I think the re I think the reflex one is my favorite for sure. The reflex one is definitely my favorite. Boing, boing, boing. Yeah, I think the protection one's fine, but reflex gives you that additional like I'm guessing those additional windows, which makes it really fun. Though I wonder if like doing that makes you um, potentially eat shit more if you try and the other ones. I don't know. Took my hand off the dodge. Fool. Oh, something happened. I did something and it glowed. Interesting. It's not that tanky, I don't think, actually. It's mostly because I'm not necessarily using skills like 100% time, because I'm, I'm more getting the timing down on the... I'm getting the timing down on the... Uh, thing. Like, if I was constantly using the skills, you can actually see, if I, if I zoom in and use the skill quickly, you can see like how much more damage that does really quickly. Lude. 
because I want to practice the timing on this. I heard a loud boot, sorry. Give me a sec. It's interesting, like, the... The bad guy really doesn't give you much opportunity to attack him. Uh, you have to, um... He will, hap he will happily slap you for your trouble. Oof, right, you can't touch that. What do the stun grenades do? I haven't actually been mucking up. Oh, I have more! <gasps> There's more stuff! Makes enemies collapse, depletes their shield. A smart mine and sonic grenades down. Ah, interesting. So we could like, we could like, we could lure them out. Did that work? Oh yeah, it does. Look, it, it completely knocks my balance. You can use it mid combo. Sorry, let me look at the other uh, thing. That's on cool. Sorry, Vampire Mansion chat was right. Didn't know you didn't play that loot, that kind of loot games. If it's that bad, I probably can't play it, yeah. It might be a little bit dubious. But thank you very much for the dono again, that's very kind of you. Thank you both for the lovely uh, lovely donations. Hey Noble, well, yeah it's been good, we've just been tra practicing the boss uh, the boss fight at the end. Just mucking around with it, seeing how the combat system behaves, that kind of stuff. That's the, the tricky thing, if you, you overdo a combo, you're gonna eat shit immediately, block, and then... pow. Oops. The Wolf game was straight up porn, though. Yeah, gotta be a little careful, I don't know who that is, but gotta be a little bit careful, like, we don't want to accidentally, like, link stuff into chat that's straight up porn, unless you want to get the stream banned. Because you gotta be careful with that, folks. Same with, like, linking stuff in the chat. Like, try not to link things that are just flat out explicit, because that will also get me banned, don't forget. T-Boy. Oh, man. Crazy. I think I'm going to have to not rely on the dodge more or less at all until I... until I know what the, the hell the time is supposed to be. Oops. I feel, ah, ah, I feel if I do the dodge as I would have done the parry, interesting, ah, I see. That's interesting, so rather than like worrying about the actual location we dodge, we could do that. How are you, Noble? You good? Ah. So, it, if I dodge literally as if I was about to push a parry, that seems to work fairly consistently. Spicy. Oh, that makes so much more sense now. Okay, I'm just kind of like just sit playing this now. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> got a surgery yesterday. Everything went well and clean. Oh, excellent, excellent. I'm glad to hear your, uh, that all went right. I didn't realize the surgery was already. Ow. When's he, uh, when's he sort of hear how it's gone? Ah! 
No, I'm really, really pleased to hear that, mate. That's fantastic news. Oh, I understand this so much more now. Oh, it seems, guys, it seems so simple now. So simple. I just wasn't getting it. I was trying to treat it like a like a, a any other game with a dodge, but it's not. It's it's more like a second parry, like a, an alternative to parrying. Interesting. Pink purple one's back, isn't it? That's that's it. Oh, this is so fun! I love learning these types of games. I love I love like getting the nuance of these combat systems. It's so much fun. We'll do a check in a month or so to make sure the cancer's gone for good this time. Right now, there's no reason to believe it isn't. Oh fucking hey, dude! Honestly, like, game's not important. Man, that's fucking awesome. Seriously, could please high five your bro for me. Fucking hey, dude. That is fantastic news. Fuck cancer. Good shit, man. Bonk. Good stuff. Oh, that's that's fucking great news, man. I'm seriously incredibly pleased. Alright. Let's try and let's try and bin him this time and then we'll uh Oh yeah baby. Oh yeah baby Oh no, I forgot about the purple one. Fool! What's the key to the dodge? It's, um, you basically hit dodge as you were going to parry. So the second the attack is going to connect, if you're going to, if you, that's the timing for the parry, that's the timing for the dodge. They're one the same. I was treating it like a ahead of time kind of thing. It's, it's not. It's like as it hits. Like that. And I'll do it again. See? There we go. Yeah, it's so much more consistent now, I understand that. Get nerded on, nerd. Oops, I dodged forward. Okay, that was, that was my bad. This game does really punish you if you go too ham. Like if you're if you're continuing your combo far too far, it'll happily beat you for that. And is the dodging on a timer? You can do it whenever you want, I think. But there is a there is somewhat of a cooldown in a uh, like sorry, somewhat of an animation like slow recovery. So you have to be a little bit careful. Ah, oh, that one's a bit. That one's a bit of a weird dodge. I'm not quite sure what that was. 
Oops. Overhead, overhead, overhead. You need to know when to commit. Yeah, yeah. Th that's the thing. Again, it's not Bayonetta. You can't... You can't basically smash attack until you can dodge. You have to, like... Again, it's, it's a mixture between Bayonetta and Dark Souls. You have to sort of bide your time for it, Lou. That was the wrong... That's the wrong thing. Like that. Nice. Yeah, just bully the shot and finish. Yeah. It's very cool. Yeah, honestly, the entire game looks fucking cool. It really does. Alright, peeps, I'm going to stop there because I've got... Oh, I just put two and a half hours, but this is fucking great. Really enjoy this. Um, I've got to go out. Uh, remember, no stream tonight. I am out. I will be back tomorrow as normal. We'll be doing some Dragon's Dogma. Um, but I will be streaming this when this comes out because this is fucking finished. badass. Been enjoying this. Yeah, massively flew by. That was really cool. The game is super fun. Really, really good. Really, really good. Good shit. Thank you, everyone. Like, thank you for being here. I know, I know it's a weird time. I actually kind of like these like early Saturday streams. They're kind of fun and chill. I like it. Just play some random stuff. Really appreciate you all being here. Uh, I will catch you all tomorrow. Uh, have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. Uh, Noble, once again, really fucking great news uh, about your bro. Please give him a high five when he feels better for me. Awesome stuff. Catch you later, everyone. Have a good evening, uh, good day, good good morning, etc., etc., and I'll see you all tomorrow. Mwah. Take care, everyone.